Uh, moving on, Oil City Symphony. Yes. Okay. Uh, it was an off Broadway musical that played at the Circle of the Square Theater downtown in 1987. Circle of the Square downtown was actually located at 159 Bleecker Street, which is literally right across the street from us right now. Uh, the theater was demolished in the late 90s to make room for a new apartment complex. But before that, it housed shows like Oil City Symphony, as well as the Hot L Baltimore, American Buffalo, and Diamonds. Uh, and this show transformed the theater into a Midwestern high school gym. Now, Oil City Symphony was about four middle-aged, small-town folks reunited in the Ohio, Ohio High School they attended to play a, a tribute concert to their old music teacher. The four were once promising musicians who intended to have showbiz careers, but never did. However, their teaching teachers were tiring, so the amateur musicians decided to come back together for one last show. Kind of like a Mr. Hall of this uh, we never actually see the teacher character who is presumably in the audience. Now, the four main characters were played by Deborah Monk, Mark Hardwick, Mary Murphy, and Mike Craver, who also collaborated to write the show together. Cool. Oil City Symphony was a small, modest show, but it received smash hit reviews. In Women's Wear Daily, Ron Cohen said, With gentle satire, the show disguises astute musicianship in bumpkin like conviviality. There's a lot of SAT words in that. Uh, the result is just about irresistible. The New York Times agreed. They loved Pump Boys and Dinettes, which had been Hardwick and Monk's last project, but they loved this even more. The show had a charm that was very unique. It really put the audience in the middle of this realistically decorated gym and endearingly portrayed these all too familiar type of people. For example, Monk's character was introduced as a once promising violinist percussionist who now plays for the shoppers in the local mall. The four characters played a dozen instruments over the course of the evening and made up in enthusiasm what they lacked in technique. Uh, when I was reading about this show, I kept thinking it's like the kind of hilarious performances that we now only see on the early episodes of each season of American Idol. It's like that kind of idea. Uh, the New York Post said, The show's secret is that it keeps near enough to the truth to be sweet, yet is exaggerated enough to be screamingly, heart-shatteringly funny. All four are terrific performers. To see Monk smash the drums is to realize that despite the sunny corn belt smiles, she could be a massacre with a chainsaw. <laughs> That was awesome. Here to speak and sing from Oil City Symphony, Deborah Monk. Fabulous. 
and find and Margaret playing songs from the Lawrence Welk Show. Because I played the drums, and I continued my drum playing and actually studied, although you'll question that after you hear me play. Um, and they came over and said, will you play these songs with us from the Lawrence Welk with the drums? So we played them and we fell in love with them. And uh, we decided we were going to write a show around these people, and they were playing the drums, and the boys, Mark playing the piano, Mike playing the synthesizer, and then we found the glorious Mary Murphy. Is she here tonight by any chance? I heard she might be coming. Anyway, she's a brilliant uh, violin player. And so we put the show together, as you were told. It's like basically four kids who got together after they graduated for one last moment of glory to play. And Ohio Afternoon came about because we wanted to write a song uh, for me. And we love that song, Canadian Sunset. It was very Lawrence Welk. Well. It was very sweet. And I'm from Ohio. I was born in Ohio. We thought Ohio was really boring. And afternoon is even more boring, so let's put that together and make Ohio afternoon. Um, now, in the show, I did not play all afternoon at the drums, but I am going to play the drums tonight to bring back a little bit of the, oh, but just the joy of watching me play. <laughs> Teasing. Now, just a couple of stories that we, we did it, we uh, decided after the show, and why kill us now? We decided to serve punch and cookie to the audience as they were leaving. And uh, during Ohio afternoon, I would down and sit down and sing this sweet little song. And twice, at two, well, the same night, one fellow came up to me and said, have you had that mole checked on your back? During the punch and cookies thing. Okay, I'll say it again. Have you had that mole checked on your back? That was one thing that told me. And the other one was I had a coughing spell during the show one night. And a guy came up to me and said, that coughing thing was hilarious. <laughs> What happens if we play the drums? Ohio afternoon. Oh, I can't see my drum part. Kidding. All right. Ready, Carol? Ready. Friendly. 